So I think we need to address to some of the viewers that this is a working studio. Not everyone can be in the vlog all the time. Not everyone wants to be in the vlog all the time. And you and I are doing most of this working around everything else that's going on, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's pe people are busy. People are not wanting to get in front of the camera too much uh, for various reasons. They're all not camera whores like I can try and be. But I think the main thing though that we need to focus on here is that I'm the main character <laughs> and it's all, it's all about me. So this week's vlog, we had the opportunity to go treat with UKG, or I did, kitted up again, been a long time, had a great day, brilliant day, great to see everybody, and we'll be doing a lot more of it, I think. Whether we'll vlog about it, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But it was brilliant, a brilliant time. That's coming up this week. Then we've also got to explain the red label helmet. We're finally at the stage where we can do that. Thanks, Governor. <clears throat> okay, the red label helmet. Here it is, we finally got the first prototype made. <laughs> There's somebody at the door. The Red Label Scout Helmet, we finally got it made. What's Red Label all about? It's about making a helmet that's deviating from the screen used replicas or the, the screen accurate replicas that we usually make and focusing more on the needs of somebody who wants to troop and costume this particular helmet. So what's different about it? Okay, first thing is we've got a fiberglass shell at the back, which is obviously it's all made from the original studio made helmet again, but we've got a fiberglass shell at the back, then we've got a full vac formed peak and faceplate so that all the internal detail here is correct and you wouldn't really know any, you know, that it's any different from our usual helmet. That was the goal. To finish it off a little bit nicer, we went with the full lining on the inside so now you can just put the little pads in to make it fit your head nicer and but anyway that was kind of the idea this is how it's uh, how it's come out and I'm really excited and pleased about it but there you go that's the red label helmet I would put it on but I don't want to mess up my hair okay so also this week we went and visited Jason Thanos who is world renowned autograph hunter and he invited us up to his place to see his autographs and his memorabilia and he wanted to talk to us about us supplying him with some stuff so we thought let's go check it out first uh, first vlogging road trip say do you want to talk about where we're going no i don't know where we're going we're going to sail that's, that's as much as i know I think you'll find we're going to uh, Joe Mama's house. <laughs> hey, do you want to see something? What? Yeah. <laughs> he knows it. That's how cold it is. <laughs> we're going to an autograph hunters. <clears throat> we're not, we're going to the magic, magical emporium. We're going to the magic, magical emporium. No, I think it's just the Magical Emporium. Right, we're going to the Magical Emporium to meet Jason, who is a world-renowned autographed hunter. And he's seen the helmets and the props. And he wants them in his uh, booty with all the collectibles, etc, etc. So we're just going meeting him. Ugh. Hey! Oh. Finally some good stuff! <laughs> love it, love it. Amazing. Oh Hi, my god, alright mate. Good to see you again. Oh I love it. Finally I'm getting some good helmets in the shop. 
been always wanting this. Don't want any American stuff. I want <laughs> British, <laughs> the best. So we call Magical Emporium. Uh, I'm like kind of a crazy Willy Wonka edition. <laughs> I make sure everything happens. You come here, I'll produce magic for you. You have something special in your house, guaranteed. So uh, we are in Altrincham, uh, very close to Hale, very up and coming town, a lot of money in the area, uh, quality shops. Uh, we are at the traffic lights across the Unicorn next to KFC on the main road, very easy to find. So basically, the beauty of this shop is we try and do everything kind of bespoke. Every single thing, from the smallest one to the biggest one, is individually done. So if I ever did another Leon sign piece, it will look nothing like this, it will be different. The idea is that everybody that has one of these things in their house is, is not the same as somebody else. I think it's embarrassing sometimes when you know, you got a mate coming over to visit and they look at something and they say, oh, I've got one of those in the house. Or somebody looks at something and says, oh, you know what, that looks fake. How embarrassing is that? This is why with me it's different. I obtain everything. I'm an in-person autograph hound all over the world. I've won awards. Everybody knows me. So authenticity, guaranteed. You know, quality, guaranteed. And then everything else is just down to you. Okay, as Star Wars Uber geeks, let's talk about what's been going on this week and representing the young people who like the new films is Becca. I'm still young, please. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good news, or yeah. possible good news, uh, there's a big, big rumour this week about um, George Lucas apparently coming back to direct the Obi-Wan film. Now hang on, because the rumour that seems to be um, perpetuating at the moment is that uh, he's looking for locations in Ireland. And apparently this has come from um, a uh, some statement that uh, Boris Johnson has made. <laughs> so are we thinking this is fake news, or are we thinking this is like uh, another one of his bumbling gaffes where he's let, let it slide? <laughs> Where to start with this? Exactly. Bombshell. <laughs> okay, here's where we start. Do we want George back? I think. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it. It did really good. Mm. I do. I, I think he. I think he'd bring every. Bring it all back together. As long as you and McGregor's in it. Well, he's been pitched for it and he wants to do it, so... By bringing it back together, you're suggesting that it's fragmented currently? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Let's not get into there. So what? what is it? Is it bullshit? Is it a bullshit rumour? Right, is it? What? Where's it Where's it come from? Has it got any... I don't know, I mean... Is there any of, credence to this? All I've seen, so... Well, yeah, apparently Boris, Boris Johnson has made this uh, statement... Yeah, but talking about when does he Wars. ever say anything that's got any credibility well this ever. is it and this is the way the internet has just grabbed hold of it who's who's reporting on it uh, well it was it was some statement that he'd made uh, on some conference somewhere saying about how uh, British stability and I suppose some of it's got to do with Brexit and all that um, but they, they've been basically saying that one of the biggest films last year was Star Wars and it was made in the UK and currently George Lucas is scoping out um, places in Northern Ireland for locations for the new Obi-Wan movie. So where did you see it? Where did I see it? I saw it on Facebook. And what, I can see like uh, something on YouTube about it. Yeah, it's probably just different people reporting the same as what I've just told you. <clears throat> there seems to be a big, th big thing this week. 
Do we really need based on solo? Ah, oh, well, this was the thing. You see, people are questioning whether this was actually um, a, a, an old post because was was he looking for locations before solo? Uh, no one knows. Um, or was it? Or is it post solo? Because I thought. In which would... case, it's been cancelled anyway. Yeah, I thought they would stop in making the the, the spin-off movies. And also, would did Disney really include George Lucas? With it being now Disney's control, I mean, well, yeah. it, I, I'll watch it because it's Star Wars and it's Ewan McGregor. Does that mean it's going to be any good there? As long as he says hello there at least three times in that film, then it'll have made its money. Just three memes alone. So, this younger generation of Star Wars people. Oh, yeah. That I'm including you in. Right. I appreciate that. <laughs> it sounds like you're very easily pleased. No, we're not. Mm. We get angry a lot. Mm. get very angry. So we don't know if it's bullshit or not? We don't know, no. But as I say, it's coming from Bar- if you're coming from Boris Johnson... <laughs> It's true, I found the rumour, yeah. and it is true. The rumour is Thank true. You. Well, uh, I read on the very credible madsauce.com that Boris Johnson's going to have a cameo in it. A nice. speaking cameo. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Might be Obi-Wan's dad. <laughs> so that's uh, my news for the week. <laughs> I think anything else would just be small potatoes compared yeah, to that. Compared to that, yeah, yeah. We don't know, mate, I don't know. Okay, so there's still time to enter our competition to win the Biggs helmet. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. What recap? What what have we done? <laughs> I've not seen anything. I've seen nothing. You've been to the fucking autograph onto with us? All right, yeah. It's you said you want me to say this, and then chucking a load of, load of stuff on. I don't get it. Yeah, well, that's what I've just done. And thanks for watching. Well, what's the point when they've just seen it? Why do you need to reiterate it? That's just padding. What was it called, the place? So we've just been to the Magic Emporium, as, you, as you've seen. Although why I need to tell you twice, I don't know. So like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications. Bye! Bye.